SM58 or V7. I'd go with the SM58 just because of the level. The gain on the the gain is so bad on the V7. I just it, it just bugged me. It just bugged me. I didn't like it. Um, then I've got to look at some other microphones myself, just because now I've done this review and, and I've 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 tried these mics out. I'd love the two that I recommended. I would not. There's no reason for me because I know what's going to happen if I go and someone's going to recommend a mic. And go go and check this mic out, and I'll go and check it out. And it may have attributes to it that are really good, but ultimately the thing that's going to make the difference is how I'm singing on the day, because I know that. If I'm singing on top form, the 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 SM uh, sorry, any of those mic any, actually any of those mics will do the job because if the if the sound system's good, um, the only thing is obviously you've got some issues with um, plosives and stuff. But use your mic, use your mic technique. You know, these aren't major issues. They're not major issues. Handling noise can be an, a, an issue on the quiet gig. So if you're doing acoustic gigs, yeah then it makes a massive difference. Um, but ultimately, get a mic you, you're comfortable with and stick with it. If it does the job, do the job and focus on the other things. So I'm not going to spend too much time. Um, for example, right, this microphone here, this is the Sontronics STC1 or STC2, one of those. It's, it's a really good mic. I used to use the, the Rode NT1. Um, I, even though I, I, there's some other top end mics to record an album with, the one that my voice suited was the Rode NT1, which is it's not an expensive mic at all, and it it came across really well on on the album. I was really pleased with it. I've recorded albums using mics that are thousands of pounds, and I've recorded albums where the mics just a couple of hundred quid, a hundred quid. So songs, but in this instance for this recording. I'm doing a little bit of a cheat because I can't be bothered to plug this into my computer. Yeah, I don't want to plug it into computer and then sync it up with the camera. So what I've done is I've got my Rode wireless connected to my camera up there. That's connected to a cheap like £10 lav mic. And the lav mic is wired. Oh, I just touched it then. Is that touching? Yeah, I'm touching it. Okay, so right next to the mic is the lav mic, which is only like 10, 15 quid, really cheap on Amazon. But I know for this, it will do the job as long as I mix it loud enough. It might be a bit bright, um, but it will do... See, it does the job. So these are things. Um, I did have somebody say to me, um, can you tell us how you set up your, your thing? Um, I've got, I use a Sony, um, what's it called? Okay, I was asked about what I use for my setup, for recording, for recording my podcasts and uh, my YouTube videos. I'll do a video on that if you really want me to. Um, I can tell you quickly what I'm using. I'm using a Sony, uh, oh God, what is the name of this camera? ZV-E10 or something. Sony have got the most stupid names for their cameras, but I really recommend it. It's really good. Um, anyway, but again, you know, really, I should be on a diet and looking in shape, getting rid of my mad titties. <laughs> so I can't, you know, it's more important things. You're going to get a half decent camera, but if you're not getting down the gym and getting yourself in shape, it's like I'm polishing a turd. <laughs> I really am. Okay. Oh, God. I look like Father Christmas at the moment. Oh, God. Oh. Anywho, um, what microphones have I left out? Okay, so we've looked at the EV96, the EV86. The EV86, I, I personally wouldn't get it because... Um, it's not much cheaper than the 96, and the 96 is a better mic. Um, so I'd go for the 96 or the Sennheiser of the ones that I've tried out. If you're already if you're already loving the Shure brand and you like your Beta and the SM58, stick with it if you want to. I personally, having, I would upgrade from the basic SM58. If I had the Beta 
um, I already had the beta, I wouldn't bother changing. I probably wouldn't. But I do like these two mics. The Sennheiser, I do love, and the EV. Yeah, they're both great mics. Okay, a few words about the SE V7. Right, I've mentioned it. I've probably mentioned it before. I've edited this a little bit. I was going to do it in a one but I can't because I'm just waffling too much. So I'll say a little bit about the SE V7. Is It's a nice handling mic. Weight and everything is fine. Um, the little gimmick about the bit round so it doesn't roll off the table that's that's kind of cool um and the fact you can change the inside bit so it's red or gray and it, it, it there's nice little gimmicks comes in a crappy little bag though oh that's one thing i will say um the sennheiser ev they come in a nice little protective bag the 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 cheapy one the Behringer comes in a plastic hard case, which I think is great. Uh, that's, I can't, I still can't understand how they do that so cheap. It's actually a quite a good mic, but for the faults that I've already mentioned. But with the SC SC fifty, this SC is a nice looking mic. Um, oh, I've got one criticism of the Sennheiser. I'll come back to that in a second. But with this SC, right? It's it's not a bad mic. It's just the level. Um, it doesn't have a major issue with plosives and you know everything else. A lot of these people will go into detail, okay, about rejection. There comes a level, what we're talking at, where they're all pretty good, you know? Um, yeah, they're all pretty good. I would say the better ones are probably the EV is probably the best of the bunch um, that are 96 as well as the uh, the Sennheiser. They're the two. That's why I like those two. But I haven't I haven't tried all the mics that are out there. There's bound to be. And I'll tell you what, if you subscribe and press the like and the button and whatever, if you do like it. Um, but also leave a comment on what microphone you use and why you like it. And if I can get hold of it, borrow one, I'll have a look at it and see what I think. And if I like it, I'll, I'll give it props, you know. Um, so, yeah. I think that's it. Go and uh, enjoy your music. Enjoy your music. And as I said, it, this is aimed at singers. If you're good, just practice your singing. Get your set list. And you can have a decent mic under 200 quid, even under 100 quid. And it won't make a major difference. Um, those other things are much more important. So um, don't, don't lose sleep over what mic you're going to buy. Just buy one and go out and work. Have fun. Okay, so that's the Sennheiser E945. The only issue I've got with this mic, I love this mic, fantastic, but I can't stand how easy it is. I've, I've, I look after my mics, uh, whether it's called a ring or something. For some reason, this has picked up some scratches on it really easily. So that, that annoyed me. Um, I don't know whether to complain to them about it, but I'm not happy. Um, my other mics don't have that problem all right so that's one thing to look out for i still use it and i still love it so yeah i love this mic it's probably even though technically the ev is a slightly better mic i've got a soft spot for this mic so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've taken something away from it that's positive um, I hope to see you again. Please subscribe and visit my website. I'll be, oh, I'll tell you one thing I will be doing is I'm going to take each of those microphones that you've just seen and I'm going to record a song um, here um, and just see how it comes out. I will EQ it and I'll, I'll do all the, everything I can to make it sound good. But in a way, just to prove a point that you can get something out of any mic, you know, um, it's not the biggest decision of your life once you get happy with something stick with it and just make good music that's the most important thing to do which i intend to do so uh i'll see you around thanks very much for watching Bye.